Dr. Jones here again, and now we're gonna talk about determining the better buy. I absolutely love this concept because it really shows how ratios and rates are connected. Now we all know about ratios, but rates, rates are great as well. Rates are ratios that have different units. So let's look at an example and let's play with a little bit and kind of see how rates and ratios are really connected together and they can help you figure out the better buy. This is important because this way you will never get gypped when you're trying to figure out what's the better deal when you're buying things. Okay, so let's say we're given 20 brownies and each brownie is 40 cents each. We wanna buy the whole quantity of 20 brownies and we know there are 40 cents each. It's a pretty good deal, especially if they're the nice gooey brownies because brownies are my absolute favorite dessert. Next, let's say that we're comparing it with another deal. The second deal we have is 20 brownies, but you get the whole batch of 20 brownies for $10. The whole entire batch for $10. And you're trying to figure out which one is the better buy. Is the better buy getting all 20 brownies for $10, or is the better buy getting all 20 brownies for 40 cents each. Hmm. The cool thing about this is it's a rate because we have 20 brownies and we have 40 cents or $10. So our units are brownies and dollars. So we have two different units we're comparing, which makes it a rate, but which rate is better? Which ratio is better? Which deal is better? Well, that's where math comes in. Okay, so we really wanna figure out what is the better deal. They both look pretty great, but what I notice is that they're expressed in two different units. Well, that means that they're rates. Rates are ratios expressed in two different units. And so over here, we have 20 brownies that are each 40 cents. And over here, we have 20 brownies that all together will cost us $10. Hmm, something a little bit off. Well, to solve this, if we were to express both as a unit rate, we could compare the quantities and really see which is a better deal because they both look pretty great. They both look pretty good. All right, so let's do some calculations. Over here. We already know what each brownie is worth. It tells us. It says that each brownie is 40 cents each. But over here, we have to do some calculations to figure out how much each brownie is worth in this group of 20 brownies. Well, we're gonna set up our rate as a fraction because ratios can be set up that way. The numerator is going to be our amount of money, which is $10 in this case. In our denominator, we're gonna put our total quantity of brownies, which is 20. So we have $10 over 20. And that reduces to one over two. And one half is the same thing as 0.5 or 50 cents, which means over here, each brownie in that batch is 50 cents each. So each brownie over here is 40 cents and each brownie over here is 50 cents, this is obviously the better buy. <laughs> this is the better deal. Because over here, we're having a cheaper amount per brownie than over here. And we figure that out by finding the unit rate and then comparing the unit weight rate quantities. Unit rate is fabulous. It helps us figure out so many different problems. In fact, let's change this up a little bit. Let's just change them up a little bit. Okay. So it's changed up a little bit. If you notice, now there's a shipping fee. Over here, we still have our 20 brownies for 40 cents each, but there's a shipping fee of $5. And over here, we still have our 20 brownies that are $10 in total, but the shipping fee is cheaper, it's $3. So which one is really the better buy? Let's figure it out. So. 
we already know that over here, we know the unit rate. We calculated it out just a few minutes ago. So the unit rate over here is that there are 20 brownies and each brownie is 50 cents each. When we have both of our unit rates, 40 cents each, 50 cents each, we can calculate how much money we're spending in total with these rates, okay? So over here, if I have 20 brownies at 40 cents each, I'm doing 20 times four tenths and I'm going to get $8. So it's really $8. And we know over here it's $10, we figured that out already. So when I'm figuring out how much that's going to be with the shipping cost, over here I have $8 plus the $5 shipping cost. So that's $13. I wonder if it's still the better buy. Let's figure it out. Over here, I know that it's $10. And $10 plus the shipping cost of $3 is $13. So you guys, there isn't a better buy. They're both equal. Who would have thought? <laughs> Let's look at one more example using these brownies. Okay, so our problem has changed just a little bit. Over here, we have 10 brownies for 40 cents each and a $5 shipping fee. And over here, we have 10 brownies that you can get all together for $5 with a $3 shipping fee. Let's figure out which is the better buy in this situation. So this one is already written as a unit rate. We need to write this one as a unit rate. So 10 brownies for $5 in total. Well, we're gonna take that and we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna put the $5 over the total of 10 brownies and our unit rate is still going to be one half or 50 cents. So really, this will give us that for 10 brownies, we're really paying 50 cents each. Very similar to our first examples. So 40 cents each, 50 cents each. Okay, so now we're gonna take our unit rate and we're gonna calculate how much money that is per brownie in total. So 40 cents each times the 10 brownies gives us $4. And 50 cents each times the 10 brownies gives us $5. Now it's time to put those shipping fees together. $4 plus the $5 shipping fee is $9 in total for this purchase. And $5 plus the $3 shipping fee is $8 for the grand total. $9 $8, in this case, this is the better buy. Using rates is a great way to compare quantities, figure out the best deals, and unit rate is a great way of breaking it down altogether. Another fun way of looking at ratios, especially in the real world. See you next time.